Hello, my name's Peter Harlow from Foxbat Australia. In this short video, we're going to take you through the key features of our new Foxbat based aircraft, the Kelpie. The Kelpie's really been designed for Australia by Australian farmers. And we asked them what they wanted in an aircraft, and as a result of it, we've developed the Foxbat and added some features, which I and Edo will show you during this video. You threw, I'll start on the outside, and then uh, I'll hand over to Edo to have a look at inside the cabin. First of all, the propeller. It's a bigger propeller than on the standard Foxbat, designed specifically to give you extra takeoff and climb out um, when you're close to the ground or when you need short takeoff performance. As you can see, the aircraft is fitted with oversized tyres with uh, special rubber mud flaps on the uh, tyres to keep the crap off the uh, wing and the tailplane. Perhaps one of the most uh, obvious differences between the Kelpie and the Foxbat is this uh, metal-lined luggage compartment on the side of the aircraft with access through the door here. It's placarded for 30 kilos compared with the Foxbat's 20 kilos and that's primarily because it's a complete metal frame uh, which will take all your tools. This one, as you can see, there's a chainsaw in here at the moment. Probably a couple of slabs of beer would be even a better bet. Finally, on the outside of the aeroplane, uh, two other differences from the Foxbat. The tailplane has got a protective transparent tape along the leading edge of the tailplane and also the main landing gear has got protective tape on it as well, really just to protect these areas from stones and gravel and chips like that. And now I'll hand you over to Edo, who's going to take you through the cabin and maybe a little bit about flying the aeroplane. Nice one. Well, thank you very much. As, uh, as Peter mentioned before, the aeroplane really came about uh, to facilitate some needs of, of people in more remote areas, farmers and people that really need short field capabilities. Um, as part of it, inside of the cockpit, uh, it was important to have a UHF radio. Um, so this one is installed with a GME uh, 3500 TX um, and it is coupled directly to the headset uh, with an isolating switch between the VHF and the UHF. Uh, it comes pre-installed, pre-wired, uh, and works fantastically well to talk uh, with the ground crew. With that, uh, the Rotex engine, uh, the 912, that uh, this airplane uh, is equipped with, is known for being extremely quiet, which is great when you, when you need to fly neighborly and uh, don't interrupt the neighbors in the morning, but not so great when you need to master the, the animals. So this aircraft is actually equipped with a very loud siren, uh, again with a separate switch and two uh, siren options. <laughs> which we're very proud of. Um, we did test it and the animals are, uh, are very keen to, uh, to run, um, which is great. Um, other than that, this is a, a fox bat and it's known for extremely well short takeoff and landing capabilities. Uh, very nice feature of this airplane, other than the huge windows and great visibility is the flaperon system. So it's a f full uh, uh, aileron flaperon configuration. Um, with a capable pilot, you can really under 50 meters get it get it airborne and land very short. Well, as part of, of the features of the airplane, the real advantage is that um, you can master animals quicker. You can inspect fence line much easier. You get great visibility and really a comfortable and very safe flying at very low airspeed. This airplane will fly well above the stall at 35 knots uh, doing steep turns um, of course with the right training uh, you can really get uh, a great capability of this airplane to do the job that you need to do and that that came back we we flew this airplane all the way from Taib uh, up to uh, near my New South Wales it's about about six hours flight time uh, more or less um, and it was really interesting to see all the floods that uh, recently affected New South Wales. We, we flew about area, above areas that otherwise there would be no access to. There were, the roads were underwater, uh, there were farms that were completely isolated, there were paddocks with animals that uh, could not get access to food, um, which was a bit sad to see, uh, but definitely opened our eyes uh, into the capabilities of a, of a very good airplane with great visibility and low flying speed. So different to a normal fox bed, the fox bed Kelpie is actually equipped with, uh, with a bigger diameter propeller. We still retain the Kiev prop which we like very much because of its weight uh, and low inertia. 
but this propeller is actually a 70 inch propeller uh, which really comes down to an incredible performance on climb um, it makes for a very short takeoff roll a very steep climb over any obstacle uh, and very smooth ride as well um, so as I said, this airplane is extremely capable of performing very stall performance, a very short takeoff and landing and flying very slow. Of course with the right training um, and, uh, and, and practice, uh, you can get it into any field. Uh, so if you have a, a property, if you have a farm, you can really grade a uh, 100 meter or a 150 meter strip and, and land anywhere you want with the right training. Well, another part, another feature that the Fox Bat Kelp is, uh, is great for is how easy it is to maintain the airplane. Uh, we removed some of the fiberglass fairings that usually come standard with a Fox Bat in order to make maintaining and inspection of the airplane now uh, on your daily inspection much easier. Uh, not only that, it reduces the weight. Um, other than that, the airplane is very easy to access to, uh, to inspection hatches. It's uh, only four screws to get uh, to most compartments. It's very easy to, uh, uh, to maintain and with, uh, with the RAA L1 uh, maintainer license, you can do most of the work yourself. So if you own a remote, uh, remote farm, you don't need to actually fly to a major airport with, uh, with a maintenance facility. Uh, most most maintaining work, uh, maintenance work, you can do yourself.